Hello, my name is Raina Hart and I am a district social worker and the Family and Transition Liaison. Today we are going to discuss the Family and Transition Fit for Short program. Our FIT program is important because it helps provide specific support and services to our families who are in a transitional living situation. Our goal with the FIT program is to help our FIT students achieve academic and social success. Please scan the QR code and complete the short pretest before continuing with the presentation. Our FIT students are served under the McKinney-Vento Education of Homeless Children and Youth Assistance Act, which is a federal law that ensures immediate enrollment and educational stability for homeless children and youth. Here in Springdale, we refer to our homeless students as FIT students. As Springdale grows, as more social workers are hired and more staff become aware of the FIT program and services, the number of FIT students in our district has increased. Social workers throughout the district will assess families to see if they are eligible for our FIT program. A student may be eligible for the FIT program if they lack a fixed, regular, and adequate nighttime residence. Fixed means that a family has permanent housing with their name on the lease or mortgage. Regular means where the student is staying on a consist consistent nightly basis. Adequate housing means that the psychological and physical needs of a student are met. On this graphic, you will see the most common situations that classify a student as fit. Motel, due to lack of alternative housing. Abandoned building or park. Campground, due to lack of alternative accommodation. In a shelter like Peace at Home, NWA Women's Shelter, Salvation Army, or in a transitional housing program like Seven Hills. Doubled up with others due to loss of housing or economic hardship. If a family is doubled up, it can be due to an eviction or the family being unable to afford their own home. Families in a doubled up situation do not have to provide a signed affidavit or proof of residence at enrollment. Any families who you give an affidavit to need to be referred to the social worker for fit assessment. The family's name who is not on the lease or the mortgage may qualify for the fit program but the family whose name is on the lease or mortgage would not qualify. Lastly, in a car, train, or bus station. Another piece to McKinney-Vento is unaccompanied youth. These are students who are homeless and are not in the physical custody of a parent or guardian. While social workers are the individuals in the district doing the FIT assessment, Anyone throughout our district, including administrators, teachers, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, custodian, school counselors, etc., can notice the following things and refer the student and family to the building social worker. Enrollment at multiple schools, poor and consistent attendance, and a lot of tardies. Talking about frequent moves, poor hygiene, unmet medical and dental needs, wearing the same clothes repeatedly, fatigue, social and behavioral challenges, lack of participation in field trips and or after school activities. Even if a referral is done to the social worker because you have noticed anything we just discussed and the family does not qualify for fit, you have still made a connection between the student, family, and school and opened a door for the family to receive resources and support from the school social worker and counselor. If a student is a part of the FIT program, they have certain rights provided to them through the McKinney-Vento Act. Immediate enrollment, documents like a birth certificate, shot record, or physical can be obtained later and do not have to be provided at time of enrollment. The FIT program can assist the family in getting the provided documents. The student may attend their school of origin or the zoned school. The family can't just pick any school in the district they would like to attend. 
Once a student is identified as fit, they stay fit for the duration of the school year, even if the family moves into permanent housing. If and when the family moves into permanent housing during the school year they were identified, the student may stay at their current school building. At the beginning of each school year, the social worker in the student's building will reach out to reassess fit status. The student can participate in school programs and activities. Bus transportation can also be provided to the student to their school of origin. If a bus route is not feasible, the family can be assessed for a fuel pickup or a third party transportation option. Currently, Springdale is the recipient of the McKinney-Vento grant. With that grant, there are funds to help meet identified fit students' needs. Grant money can be spent on the following. Welfare activities, which includes food, clothing, school supplies, and necessary items for enrollment or for the student to be able to participate fully in school activities. Health, which includes medical, dental, vision, and mental health services. Tutoring, parent involvement, and transportation to and from the school of origin. Our FIT program has several partnerships with local community organizations, and we are expanding our partnerships with the community as our program continues to grow. A few of our current partnerships include Fellowship Bible Church, who sponsors our FIT students at Christmas, Ever Driven, which is a third-party transportation option to help transport students to their school of origin, and the Treehouse Pantry, which provides wraparound services to FIT and non-FIT students across the district. Thank you so much for watching this presentation on our FIT program today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via phone or email. You may also reach out to your building social worker if you have questions as well. Please take a minute to scan the QR code and fill out the post-test for the McKinney-Vento training. Thank you and have a great day.